<laughs> All right, thanks for joining in. Um, this is my first tutorial in English language. Please consider I'm German, so uh, have patience with my English speaking things. Um, so the song I'm going to introduce you is, um, or I'm going to show you how to play, is uh, one of my favorite songs, one of my all-time favorites from one of my all-time favorite bands called Delamitri from Scotland. Um, the song is called Be My Downfall. It was the first song I ever saw from those guys. It was back in the 90s and I was watching MTV and I heard this song and I was it was love at first sight. It was exactly the kind of music I always wanted to hear and make. And so the first tutorial I'm gonna do in English language is about that song. Um, the song is in another tuning. So for those of you who are familiar with uh, different tunings, the tuning is that gap or a D modal, and you can skip over the next section. For the others, um, I'm gonna show you how to tune your guitar in that gap tuning. So um, you take your guitar and you have it in standard tuning, I suppose. <laughs> You tune it to that gap. I call it that gap, others call it D modal. It's um, maybe there's other names for it as well. Um, and it is basically what the name's about. So it's that gap, D A D, G A D on the strings. So what you have to do is tune the lowest E string to D. Um, I always use the D, the open D string as a reference. So it goes like, or and I use the flageolet on the 12th fret for the for the actual string. So it's pretty easy to drop that in the tuning to D. All right. Uh, the fifth string you can leave as is. So it's dad gat E A D is also there. G is also there as well. And now we have to detune the second string to an A. So we come from the B and we tune it to an A. It's also very easy because you take the open A string as a reference. Okay. And we have to detune the highest E string, the first string to a D as well. So we take the open D Again, as a reference, with a flageolet in the 12th fret. Now your guitar should sound a bit like that. And that's it. You're in that gap tuning. All right, but for Be My Downfall, we also have to, uh, if we want to play in the original key, which is also pretty good to sing, at least for me, um, we need a cabadaster. So you take your cabadaster, take your cabadaster and put it in the fifth fret. And at that point, what always happens is with a cabadaster, you completely detune your own tuning again, at least with this guitar, it's got a pretty high string action. so. All right, we're mostly there, but it's not, it's not, it's not really what we, what we want it to sound like. So best thing at that point is um, either you have a good ear to tune correctly, or you just take the guitar, give it to your roadie and have him tune the guitar exactly. Thanks. Always good to have a roadie. Now your guitar is exactly in tune. Um, all right, as every song, this song starts with the intro and the intro goes like that. Um, here we have a chord that I would call a, it's, it's a G major chord, but um, it doesn't have a third. So you might want to call it a G5. Um, 
And it's very simple. You just take your index finger, put it in the second fret on the third string. It should sound like that. But if you listen to that song, you hear that there's a melody in the in the intro, and you can play the melody um, mostly with your pinky. And uh, you take a pinky and put in the first string, the fourth fret. Um, yeah, you play the chord open. And you, you play the, the highest note with the downstroke, then you, you take away your pinky and play the open string with the upstrokes. Take the pinky in the, on the fourth fret as well, um, on the second string this time. So it goes. Sorry for that. Okay, should sound like that. Okay, if you, if you practice that for a while, um, you can move on to the second bar, which is. Also pretty easy, there's a C chord. Um, uh, you, would, you would not play the sixth string in order to have a, a C in, in the bass. You take your index finger and the middle finger and put in the second fret on the, um, on the fifth and the second string. Should sound like that. Okay, and now you play that together with a melody. So it goes like. Uh, I have to say that you that you might want to play the the C chord with a hammer on. So it goes like. Repeat that and you got the first part of the intro. Now we come into an A minor chord and you play it with your index and the middle finger and the second fret again, but now on the sixth and the fifth string. Now you do this the same thing with the melody in your pinky again with the A minor chord. Um, in general, so it goes like that's basically it. But now you end on a D chord, and the D D major is um, you also mute the the sixth string again, and you take your index finger and the middle finger and the second fret on the Third, uh, sorry, on the four, uh, first, <laughs> on the first and the fourth uh, string. So, uh, sorry, it's uh, you come from the A minor. You repeat the A minor. Go back to the G, G five chord. G, yeah. So all together it should, it should sound like All right. Um, I forgot to say that I'm, uh, that I'm not going into all the details of the song because I, I, I think if, if you're here and you, you watch this video, you're already a guitar player or you know how about the basics of the guitar um, and I hope you can figure it out to play that song with with my hints and clues uh, I'm not going so much into the details of how to play a hammer on or a pull off and, and how you best place your fingers on the strings and stuff like that and how you use your plectrum and stuff like that there's loads of videos on that but um, yeah these are the chords that I hear if you have better suggestions, please let me know. Um, but 
I think that's that's as close as I can get to that song. And uh, yeah, that was the intro. <laughs> now let's go to the to the verse. The verse is um, I suppose you 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 play that song uh, on the guitar accompanying your singing. So um, in the verse, you basically play just the chords to yeah to add to your singing. And it starts with a G, the same G that we used in the intro. So you just take the in index finger here, um, second fret, third string, and play it with that strum and just start singing. Well, the bus is pulling out. You go to the C, the same C that we used in the intro. And I guess I better go. Do the D major chord, known from the intro. You can add a little melody here. And then 20 miles away, you know the C. So wait so long for me, back to G. A bridge I would call the bridge and starts with a C major and then another situation back to G I could put a D a five C um yeah I wouldn't I, I would stop strumming in that part so it goes like and then another situation I could put a minor chord, but you will be my downfall, back to G. So from A minor to the D major, back to G. So the bridge is like, um, and in a, another situation I could put up a fight, but you will be my downfall tonight. The melody that we know already from the intro. That was the verse and the bridge. Now to um, the chorus. The chorus starts with a chord that I'm not really sure of. So if you have any suggestions here, let me know. But I think it's a it's a G major seventh, and I play it like that. Uh, you use your your pinky and your ring finger on the fourth fret on string number four and five. And you use the index finger on the third string in the second fret. Should sound like that. It's the beginning of the of the, of the chorus. Be my downfall. Be my great regret. D major. Be the wonder. Back to G. That I'll never forget. D major. E minor. That's a, that's a chorus and now you have all the parts you need in that song and uh, I just have to figure out how to put the different parts together. I'm going to do another video where I play the song all together in one. Um, so, But it's basically the intro, then you play the first and the second verse and you go to the refrain, uh, the, the, the chorus, uh, play the intro again, go back to the chorus, to the third verse and there you are. That's, that's basically it. Um, yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope um, it's of any use for you. 
And if so, please uh, leave me a like or a comment or share my video or subscribe to my channel or uh, subscribe to the other places where you can find me in the web. <laughs> I'm always happy for a like and um, hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.